So I'm going to take you guys through the process of using uh, Google Apps in order to uh, s submit a lab report online. Uh, you guys are going to have to do that for pretty much all the lab write-ups from this point onward. And so we'll go into Google Apps, we'll go to Google Docs, and we'll use that. Uh, I'm going to use the, Google, uh, the district Google Docs, but you could certainly use either Google Docs. It doesn't matter. First thing you need to do is go to the correct address. And so that's uh, apps.deerpark schools.org but you can't have www in front of it otherwise it won't work and so if we do that um, we'll be brought here and you need to log in so your login would be what you use to log in to the computer will be your username and then your password will be uh, dpsd for deer park school district all lowercase and then your student number mine's a little bit different so let me just log in here first and so all right and so you're brought in here, okay? And this is what you see. This is just the general kind of thing that you see whenever you go in to Google Docs. You guys are going to need to create a new document, but there's a template up there for you, which is nice. So um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go and uh, find the template. And so the easiest way to do that is uh, pretty much to go to this Create menu right here, this big red button. And right down at the bottom, click the From Template button. And I've put it in both places, so it doesn't really matter where you go to find it. You can find it in the public templates, or you can find it in the DeerParkSchools.org templates. But it's called uh, DPHS HCHEM Lab Template. And just to show you that it's in the public templates, what you can do is just click Public, and then DPHS, and if you just type in HCHEM, that should probably pull it up for you. And there it is. So this is what you want to use, and so you want to click this Use This Template button and it'll download it into your own thing. And it's all set up. All you need to do basically is plug in the right information. So the first thing you want to do is give it a title. And so the title, the correct format for title would be last name. So for me, it would be this, and then topic of the lab. So let's just say, since this is a sample, I'll just call it sample. All right, and then um, lab, okay? And so that's really the first thing that you should do is just change the name of it. And then it's just a matter of putting in the information. So I could put in my name, I can put in my partner's names. You guys kind of get the, the bottom line idea of how this goes. And so really any place where you see these angle brackets and something you want to replace all that information with the actual thing, okay? So uh, lab title, right? So I want to select that and I want to give it a different title. So I'll just call it sample lab. You would call it something different, certainly. And then just go through each section. Um, and it's pretty cut and dry as to what needs to be in each section and what has to be there. Um, a couple of things I might point out is in here, you'll probably need to include a graph, and there's a couple of different ways to make graphs. I've given you guys a handout which um, has some tools that you can use in order to make graphs. You might use uh, the Google Chart Maker, you might use a Google Spreadsheet, and then make the graph and import it in here. You might use another website, it's really up to you. But graphs should be in here, data tables should be in here, and please uh, make sure that all items in this section have a sentence or two at the bottom of them or at the top of them that explains what they are. Uh, that's really important. Calculations go in here. So um, if you need to put in equations and so forth, there's a couple of different ways to do that. There's an equation editor in Google Docs itself, which might take a little bit of time to learn how to use, but I, I put a little how-to on the document that I gave you guys. Um, but you just click equation in here and then you can pick your different sub you can pick the different symbols and so on and so forth different operations That's a really nice uh, feature to use in there. Um, there are some other websites. I linked you to as well uh, You know equations get a little bit crazy uh, if you're just putting them in normally here without doing that sort of um, Kind of nicer formatting to it So you'll be expected if it's a really complex equation just to format it properly and put it in there um, and then you've got your conclusion, you've got your error analysis, um, you've got any answers to any analysis questions, and then of course any references. So if you're getting any information from other places, you definitely want to include references in the APA style um, right in this section. And of course I gave you guys a link to a nice thing that will just format them in the APA style for you. So once it's all done, you need to share it with me. And so the easiest way to do that is to go to this share button right here. Click that share button and you can see kind of who currently has access and you want to give me access as well. Um, I'm not going to type it again because I'm already in there, but basically you want to put in my email address and once you put in my email address, you want to make sure that I have the can edit feature enabled here. And then you just click this share and save button and it will get saved with me. 
um, and share it with me, which is really nice. And then I can go in, I can leave you comments, I can email you your grade, and I can grade the document. And so that's basically the way that this whole process is going to work. Obviously, if you have any questions about it, you can uh, certainly email me those questions and I'll get right back to you or just talk to me about those questions and I'll get right back to you. All right. So this is the way that we're going to be doing uh, formal lab write-ups from here on out. So if you guys have uh, any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Great. Take it easy.